evening it's Kristen scrappy on the fly welcome back I am working on some challenges that I received today because officially for four more minutes it is national or international scrapbooking day and um, I'm part of a group called scrapbooking with Anne Marie and she had a zoom today and every hour we got a tutorial and a challenge. So I worked on my tutorials during the Zoom and I'm working on the challenges now. So I have written them all down and I've got two left to get done and I'll be done with all of the challenges and the tutorials for the day. So I made my little note. So I love these because it's you can have the freedom to do whatever you want. You just have to incorporate the things that she has um, given you. So this challenge or yeah, challenge is um, you need to use two inch strip of patterned paper, one large picture, two small pictures, a tag, um, multiple shades of one color, and then hearts or stars, or you get a bonus points if you use both. So that is the plan. And right now I am scrapbooking. Uh, every year my family goes to the beach, or at least we did before COVID. And I've never really worked on pages for all these trips. So I am getting ready. I've just started really today getting those started. So I am, try, I was trying to figure out the best page to do with this and I have these pictures um, this is my son and nephew and um, this was like six years ago so um, I want this is an I don't typically print bigger pictures than a four by six so I was looking for something that I wanted to keep the whole picture um, and then pictures that would coincide with this that I could cut to smaller pictures. So I have these two smaller pictures of the boys right after we had this meal from a little vendor on the street. Or actually it was like at a field, as you could tell. Um, anyway, so this is all just for play. They really were not having issues. But... We took these, we went on an adventure. Me and my best friend took them on as an adventure. And while the uh, grown-ups and other kids shopped at the uh, outlet. So anyway, so I went ahead and decided that green was going to be my color. That I was going to use multiple shades of green. So I matted on two different shades of green. Um, made this one big. Made two small, but matted them together. And then decided since they were having hot dogs that I would I really wanted to use scraps up so every single thing that I'm using is a scrap this honestly the this base page is almost a scrap because I pulled it out for something else trimmed it out for a 12 by 12 like to cut the top part off and from the book um, and decided against this color so but it's a full sheet of 12 by 12 um, but everything else I'm using I use scrap paper and that is my goal for right now is to use scrap paper because I have so much it's not even funny so I have this really cute paper that you can only use so many times and with so many things of uh, barbecue and since that's the way they cook this hot dog I figured that was the perfect thing to put here so um, and the different challenges that we received today were great we had um, lots of fun there were about 60 of us in the group and um, you think that would be mass chaos 60 uh, people in a group all wanting to discuss scrapbooking and um, the tutorials that we were doing but it was really well done and I know that uh, Anne Marie put a lot of time and effort into it so if you're looking for a wonderful group to hang out with that is positive, gives you lots of inspiration and encouragement and ideas and tips and stuff, um, 
And if you don't, even if you don't want to get on a Facebook, she has a website and it's Scrapbooking with Anne Marie. And she hosts, you can do it for free or you can pay a monthly membership and have some extra bonuses and perks. So I love it. It's great. And she is amazing. So these are challenges that she gave. Um, and then the tutorials and stuff that I did today are also from her. Um, and so it was lots of fun. It's great to spend time with people that and you have things in common with. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with these. So I'm, one of the other things I had to do was a tag. And to me, this is a tag. I, I had this for, I couldn't even tell you. Um, couldn't even tell you though. But I've had this cute hot dog paper with no, nothing to do with it. So since that's what the boys were eating, I thought this was perfect. I can do my journaling on it. Um, and that could be my tag, so that's like a twofer, and it looks super cute. So I always have titles, or almost always. So I cut these out on my Cricut. I think these are fantastic. Nope, that's not right. I'm gonna have to look and see what the font is. But So it says roadside food, yum or yikes. <laughs> I like to be playful and fun with these pages, especially these, because we were on this big adventure with our kids. And um, so I wanted to add like a bunch of playful commentary here. All right, so this is how I'm gonna lay down. I'm not gonna glue it and everything right now because I'm sure that you all have plenty of other things too. So I have tons of these, um, stickers of snacks and things, uh, lots of different hot dog stickers, hamburgers, but since we're eating hot dogs, I'm going to stick with using just the hot dogs. Um, but I also, part of the challenge was to use star hearts and stars. Um, so I decided I was gonna use these shiny hearts um, and these shiny stars because they kind of have that brown in them from hot dog and I like the texture of the hearts so um, obviously the food is not necessarily what I loved but I'm going to put a couple of these little hearts on here so that I can incorporate them, but not look like I'm just sticking them on there for nothing. And I know a lot of people have, um, talk about the whole three points of, um, you know, to draw your attention. And I don't always follow that rule. I usually just put stuff on until I'm happy with it. Well, good thing I got another one. That one just went flying. These are a little bitty. There we go. Um, so I just like to put things on here until I'm happy. And not necessarily. I mean, if, if I think it looks good, then I think that's the most important thing. Whew, good thing that didn't go flying. Um, it won't get off my finger. <laughs> Don't you love it when the embellishments you're working with do not want to cooperate? All right, there we go. Okay, so I don't really need any more of those. I've got my hearts under control. I'm gonna put some of these cute little stars on here. These are um, strips. No clue who makes them, and I'm sorry because I'm really bad about keeping that kind of information. I cut stuff all the time. I know I have not glued this stuff down, so be really careful because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to put these stars on here because I think they're super cute. And this is where I'm going to put my, put this down. I just didn't want to do it waste your all's time. Alright, so there's that. And then I'm going to 
journal in here the story about taking the boys on an adventure because they did not want to go shopping and honestly neither did we oh my gosh these stickers are so old I can't even open the package um I don't know about you all but I have stickers galore and I don't always use them and I couldn't tell you how old these are either but they are in our designs timeless treasure stickers and they are specifically for scrapbooking because it says on the packaging great for scrapbooking Isn't that nice and the super cute lady and she's holding this big massive stack of hot dogs Let's see if i can get this off of here without tearing it because i totally could do that so i'm a professional boo-booer all right so i'm gonna put this Go ahead and tap down this picture so that I can put this sticker is gonna come over it a little bit. Um, so anyway, I was talking about um, Anne Marie's group, um, and like I said, it is great. It's really um, a positive and uplifting um, group of people, and they started on Facebook, and there is still a Facebook group called scrapbooking the day away and it is for anyone who wants to come it is a great group there's tons of people on there I think they have like 14,000 people or something I mean like tons of people but she is um she's always there like I think that she lives on there which is super cool all right, I'm gonna put this here because she has no feet. <laughs> so, put that there. So it looks like she's, her little legs, feet are stuck up underneath there instead of just missing all together. See, the guy's got no feet either. <laughs> so, um, anyway. So the other challenges that I have, or the one challenge that I have left is challenge number six. And it is three pictures, three pattern papers, three different colors, three shapes, and three embellishments. Now, when I say three, I mean however many you want, but at least three. So she usually says three or more. And of course, since it's a, just a challenge that she really wants you to just do things as, you know, you want to, she wants, she's just wanting to encourage people to scrapbook and to document their memories. So, um, people, she has all these tutorials and when you do them, she always says, you know, if you want to change it up, you want to turn it around. And I do that all the time. She'll give me a tutorial and then I might turn it on its head or something, which I enjoy. And because I love to pop give some definition and 3D to every page I do. I'm going to put these little foam squares on the back of this hot dog notepad. And then I'm going to put it up here like this. That way the little hot dog is popping up off of the base page. Now, I can put this down here, just like that. I love when a plan comes together. Okay, now, and then I'm going to glue these here and put a couple little hot dogs. I don't want this hot dog. Look, it says hot dog on it. Well, <laughs> duh. <laughs> them to be the same so I'll use these so although my boys have cheese on their hot dogs and I, 
it wasn't really like a road, I mean, it was a roadside stand, but it was like this little, they have like, um, uh, it's not like a garage sale, but they sell a lot of interesting um, homemade things at this place where we go to the beach. Okay, so I will tack these letters down, but for the most part, this is it, other than I'm in a journal on there. And so this is my mostly completed page. Um, and I was going to show you over here. So like I was saying, my next challenge is get all the hot dog stuff out of the way. Uh, three pictures. So I have these three pictures of my brother-in-law and his family. Of course, that's my son, but it's my nephew, my niece, and my sister. And then three pattern papers. So I have this gorgeous paper. This is from a paper pad. Oh, I can't even. I'm sure I'll find it later. And it's double sided, so there's all these gorgeous things on here. So I love all this beachy stuff. And then from the same paper pad, let me just tell you this glitter is all over me. I'm going to use probably this but it might be this pretty bright colors too. And then I have this strip I used earlier on a page, one of the challenges or the tutorials that we did. And it's super cute. So those are my three pattern papers. And then three colors. So I chose to go with blue. I've done a lot of blue since I've been working on my speech, but I think that these are the three colors. I'm gonna see if I can get these pictures to match on these. I do not want to lose a lot of the picture because they're so gorgeous. So I don't want to trim too much off. Oh, my sister. Um, anyway, so if those three pieces don't work, I've got plenty more, but these were just scraps I pulled out. Uh, three different shapes. So I pulled these out. I had already made these before when I was just using up some stuff on my Cricut. So I have a hexagon and a heart and a deep blue. I have this yellow, which I figured I could turn into a sunshine on the top of the page. And then I have these two ovals. So, and then embellishments, I've got tons of that. So, anyway, I hope you all have a great night.